About two years in operation, Rhodes Beauty has defied all odds to clinch a place among one of the top beauty industries. Since its inception, the Hailey Bieber's beauty brand has experienced rapid growth, expanding its reach and influence. But how long will this success last? In this video, we will look at the rise of Road Beauty and its future position in the beauty industry. The start inklings of Hailey Bieber's interest in the beauty industry started back in 2019 when she filed a trademark for Bieber Beauty. That trademark was rejected by the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office because Justin Bieber had also filed for it back in 2010. Around two years later, Haley filed for another trademark based on her middle name, Road. This triumphantly overcomes the trademark hurdle. Right before the public knew about Haley's interest in the beauty industry, the model has always made public her makeup regime, aided by numerous Get Ready With Me videos and makeup-free Instagram posts showcasing her beauty routine. During this period, one of her major subjects of conversation was peptides, which would later gain traction after the launch of the Road Beauty. This is because peptide was a main ingredient in all her products. While working on Road Beauty products, the team strategically planned packaging, formulas, and marketing. Collaborating closely with a team of esteemed dermatologists and chemists, Haley meticulously developed the formulas for her products. Her vision was to incorporate high-performance ingredients that were vegan, cruelty-free, gluten-free, and dermatologist-tested. She also aimed to exclude unnecessary additives that could harm the skin or the environment. Most beauty brands also hire dermatologists, but the difference is that Rhoda leverages their involvement in their products by emphasizing it during the marketing process. This move helps certify Road Beauty products as a legitimate one rather than just a celebrity-backed one. Another excellent addition to Haley's heavily loaded squad is skincare influencers like Hiram Yarbrough. Haley capitalizes on the large followings of these influencers to boost the popularity of her products. After years of curated production, Road Beauty launched their first products on June 15, 2022. The product has been teased for a long time on social media, weeks before the launch date, by utilizing platforms like Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok to showcase Bieber's dewy, glazed, donut-like skin. This creates a ripple effect of anticipation in fans. They released three flagship products, which are the Peptide Glazing Fluid, the Barrier Restore Cream, and the Peptide Lip Treatment. Each of these products is priced under $30, making them affordable and easily accessible online. The responses from her fans were nothing short of overwhelming. Within minutes of the launch, Rhodes' website sold out all of its products. The brand also garnered a waitlist of over 1 million eager individuals seeking to experience the transformative power of Rhodes' offerings. But what brings about the swift sellout of these products? The business acumen they employed came from highlighting industry experts and presenting them in a trendy way, especially with the focus on peptides, a skincare ingredient that became popular after research shows that it may help with moisturizing and anti-aging. This strategic launch, tailored to their target audience, was both brilliant and well-calculated. The Rise of Road Beauty Since its inception, Road has experienced rapid growth, expanding its reach and influence. The brand has forged partnerships with renowned online retailers such as Sephora, Cult Beauty, Mecca, and Netta Porter, thereby making its products accessible to customers worldwide. Rode has also introduced new additions to its product lineup, including the Glazing Milk, a gentle cleanser that effectively removes makeup and impurities. The Rode Kit, a comprehensive bundle featuring all five products in one box, and the Peptide Lip Set, a collection of four lip treatments available in various flavors. According to Vogue Business, Rode Skin sales reached eight figures within just 11 days of selling, Beauty editors, influencers, and celebrities alike have showered the brand with praise, commending its product's quality, efficacy, and affordability. Among the notable personalities spotted using Rode are Kendall Jenner, Bella Hadid, Olivia Rodrigo, and Haley's husband, Justin Bieber. Rode shows no signs of slowing down and has expanded to Canada and the UK in 2022. In September 2023, 
it expanded to France, Spain, Germany, Italy, and Ireland. Haley envisions her brand becoming a global leader in the skincare industry with plans to continue developing products that address the diverse needs and concerns of her customers, including aging, acne, pigmentation, and inflammation. She also intends to explore new categories such as body care, hair care, and makeup. The fall of Road Beauty? However, it hasn't been all rosy for Road Beauty. Just days after the launch, the brand is already being caught up in a web of comparison with some brands, affecting its uniqueness. The first brand it was pitted against was Kim Kardashian, SKKN. Just a few days after the launch of Haley's Road Beauty, Kim Kardashian released the rebranding of her KKW brand, which is SKKN. While there is no known beef between both celebrities, it hasn't stopped their fans from pitting them against each other, citing comparison in packaging and fame of both founders. The only known difference is the price, with SKKN targeting a more upscale market. However, Road Beauty's unique struggle extended beyond the Kardashian rebrand. Rhodes Skincare, a UK-based skincare brand that was founded by Sisters Penny and Annabelle Rhodes in 2004, experienced a significant hit to their business after Bieber announced her similarly named line. On the day that Rode launched its website, Rhodes Skincare saw a massive amount of orders and, soon after, a massive amount of cancellations after customers began to realize that they purchased from the incorrect brand, which saw a 94% increase in website visits the day of Rhodes' launch. This hurt the sisters' brand as they had to stop all shipments to the U.S. for two days to revise their return policy due to the influx of returns. Another wrinkle in the comparison saga is the case of a Los Angeles-based fashion brand named Rhodes. They sued Haley for trademark infringement. The brand, which was co-founded in 2014 by Phoebe Vickers and Perna Knatow, claims that Bieber knowingly and wrongfully used the name that they had already trademarked. They said in an Instagram post that Haley's use of the brand name is hurting their company, employees, customers, and partners. The lawsuit, however, was unsuccessful. The court dismissed it and ruled in favor of Haley's continuation of using the brand's name. Still, Katow and Vickers are said to continue the pursuit of further legal actions about this. Further revelations regarding the case revealed that Haley had offered to buy the fashion company from the owners in 2018, but they refused. This shows that the Road Beauty CEO is aware of another company bearing that name before choosing it. Over at least three years, the brand building that started with trademarking, one would assume considerations for global launches or potential expansions into clothing lines were made by the brand. But the assumption is definitely real. Road Beauty would have thought about expanding into other regions, if at all, they didn't think of creating a clothing line. So. It's puzzling that businesses with similar names weren't flagged as potential copyright issues. With these scandals, the uniqueness of road beauty has become questionable, which is likely to affect the long-term sustainability of the company in the long run. Their commitment to being unique seems to be mere words, and, likely, they might not have been genuinely concerned. While their marketing taunts that they were more considered than other brands, the scandals have challenged this assertion. However, aside from the scandal smearing the uniqueness of the Road Beauty name, their product's uniqueness is also questionable. The brand is heavily trend-based and lacks distinctiveness compared to similar products in the market. While chemical analysis suggests the products are of decent quality with good formulas, they don't stand out among the multitude of similar offerings. The packaging, product, and branding appear generic, lacking a clear differentiator in tangible aspects. They also rely on Hailey Bieber's celebrity image to gain more popularity. But while Hailey Bieber's celebrity status keeps the brand in the public eye, the tangible aspects of the business don't offer a unique selling proposition. This raises doubts about whether the brand is genuinely driven by a passion for quality products or primarily as a financial venture. The brand lacks enough distinctive features when you take away the celebrity element or when the current skincare trend fades. Relying heavily on trends and personal appeal suggests they might anticipate a decline sooner or later. Despite a remarkably profitable launch, 
Whether the brand will endure over the next five or 10 years remains uncertain. In lieu of this, the brand has adopted a strategy of seasonal releases, a common tactic in the beauty industry. This approach is mostly used to generate demand and increase consumers' interest in products by reducing the quantity. The approach is aimed at increasing the brand life of Rode. All in all, Rode Beauty still has a long way to go regarding its growth and reach. It has yet to establish a more stable footing in the beauty industry. Over to you, the viewers. Do you think Road Beauty will still be a household name in the industry five or 10 years from now? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one.